A lot of good metrics in the quarter, um, but obviously the market is so highly tuned to any announcement about supply chain disruption. Can you talk about not just what you're seeing now, but obviously you guys are planning for holiday, things that are months and months in advance. Is there any indication that those constraints are even directionally going to get better soon? Sure. Well, I would tell you, you know, as we head into back to school, um, our inventory positions here uh, within our distribution centers and more importantly, within our wholesale partners, our own stores, e-commerce, we're, we're in a very strong position and we're carrying momentum, you know, from last last quarter into this important back to school season with great inventory and strong sell through. Uh, so we're positioned extremely well today. Uh, we did talk about you know the impacts of COVID and the surge that continues to move through Southeast Asia. Um, but importantly, we talked about the strength of our supply chain, the position of our partners in these um, critical markets. Um, our factory partners are open and operating, and um, we have line of sight to be able to move those materials um, in a difficult um, you know, marketplace or environment. We certainly have the production constraints that our teams are very closely working on with factory partners, um, but also looking at the ability to secure equipment and uh, logistics to move the goods to distribution centers. Um, we did say um, you know, that we will see some quarter to quarter movement here in the important September to October timeframe, um, but we see no risk um, to our ability to service the fall holiday demand um, you know, that we have within our order books, um, but that we also see coming in through our own direct channels. Right. Well, I want to talk about demand, but one more on supply. You know, for a long time in retail, we've been talking about whether supply chains need to be adjusted, moved, repatriated. It used to be about tariffs. Obviously, now it's about costs and COVID. Are we still in that discussion, or do you think you can keep the chains you have and work our way through, obviously, the surges that have been coming with some regularity? I think one of the strengths of our supply chain teams is our ability to to really flex, you know, with with the current market conditions. And we have a very diversified model today, and uh, we have the ability to continue to diversify in future seasons. We talk a lot about bringing production closer to demand um, as a way of being able to really deliver more quickly, you know, consumer against consumer demand and trends that we see. Uh, so long term, absolutely, you know, we do see the ability to continue to evolve our supply chain. We don't think we're in a, in a negative position today in any way, shape or form. You know, we are in a particular you know, situation with the COVID surge, um, but the partners that we work with, the location of their uh, production uh, within those marketplaces um, is allowing them to continue to produce, um, not at optimal levels, um, but certainly um, at the levels to meet the demand that we have. And uh, we'll continue to work very closely with them uh, to keep those goods moving uh, towards our point of sale. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.